Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Solon High School and Solon Education Television's continued production of Solon Comet Athletics. Tonight, it's a boys basketball matchup in the National Conference of the Suburban League. The Nordonia Knights come to Solon High School to take on your Solon Comets. My name is Chuck Chokina, happy to be a part of SETV, SETV is under the direction of Joe Ferenci. Tonight, our director, Jason Jogan, and our fine Solon High School student staff at the helm, bringing you all the action of what I think will be an evenly matched basketball game here at Solon High. Both teams coming in with a record of four and five overall, one and three in the National Conference of the Suburban League. They've played five common opponents, and Solon is two and three in those five common games between the two squads. Nordonia just one and four, but in terms of strength of schedule, Nordonia has played teams with a winning record overall 43 and 31 in their nine games. Solon has played teams that have a combined record of 35 and 37. So in terms of strength of schedule, though the records may be equal, Nordonia has played a tougher schedule to date. Solon is under the direction of first year head coach Rob Sturkula, assisted by Desmond Ridenauer and Dave Leskovic. On the other side, the Nordonia Knights head coach is Dominique Sanders, assisted by Dave Smith, Don Springer, and Bob Pacey. Nordonia Knights start Junior guard Trevor Turnbull, number three, C.J. Caffey, a junior forward, number 12, Jason Janicek. A sophomore guard, number 15, Max Poland. A sophomore post, number 25, and Jordan Bird, a junior. Luke Cormuth will jump it up for Solon, who starts Noah Morgan, Amir Jones, Cam Brown, and Xavier Dose, and the ball is controlled by the Knights. That's number three, Trevor Turnbull, will bring it into the front court. Around a screen goes Turnbull, down the lane, lays it up and in, and the Knights are on the board. Immediately, Solon gets into the front court, and Amir Jones, at the top of the key, gives it to Luke Cormitt, dishes into the corner to Dose. Dose three ball in the air is long. Cam Brown comes away with it, but loses the handle. Trevor Turnbull into the front court, lays the left-hander up, missed it. Dose saved it to Jones. Jones ahead to Brown. Brown lays it up, can't get it to fall. And the rebound comes away to Jordan Bird for the Knights. And immediately, C.J. Caffey goes to the rim and can't finish. Cormuth with the board to Brown to Noah Morgan. Missed it long, and the ball is tapped out of bounds. The Knights will get possession. We're a minute in, and the Knights are out to a two-zip lead. As I mentioned at the outset, two evenly matched teams, at least on paper. Solon, in their four wins, has not beaten a team with a winning record. We get a kick ball by Cam Brown, and the ball goes out of bounds. Nordonia will retain possession. The Knights, however, have two wins over squads with winning records. Uh, they beat a 6-4 and four Stowe team, a highly regarded Stowe team, and they beat a 5-2 and two Berea team in recent days. Nice backdoor cut there by the Knights. Jason Janicek, just a sophomore with the finish. Mir Jones into the front court, dishes to Luke Cormuth. Cormuth to Brown on the left wing. Won't use a screen by Dose, goes baseline, gets shut off, and has to dish it back out to Mir Jones now. Jones being guarded by Janicek, dishes to Brown for the three ball off the front of the iron, but he was fouled, and he's going to go to the line for three shots. That foul is going to be called on number 12. C.J. Caffey, that'll be his first, team's first. New rule in Ohio High School on well, the National Federation, the National Federation of High School Athletics. Fouls, team fouls are kept by quarter. There's no longer one on one and one bonus situations. There's two shots at the fifth foul. So you get four freebies per quarter and the fifth team foul, you will shoot two shots. Cam Brown has three. 
in so far as he was fouled shooting that long three-pointer, he manages to knock down the second one. Cam Brown, a six foot three inch senior, misses his third. Noah Morgan drives and lays it up, no good. Rebound comes away to the Knights. That's Bird into the front court, gets doubled. Poland has nowhere to go with it. Dose comes away with it, long outlet to Brown who lays it up and in. Nice finish by Cam Brown and a good outlet there by Xavier Dose on the board and the Comets are jumping into a three-quarter court one, two, two trap. The Knights beat it, try to cross court it and Cam Brown knocks it out of bounds. It's a 4-3 night lead. Turnbull inbounds to Bird. Bird working against Dost. Poland cuts back door. Manages to get the ball back. Out to Bird, now to Turnbull, left wing. Working against Amir Jones. Noah Morgan doubles him. He cross courts it to Bird. Bird gets it to 15 is Janicek, whose three went in and out. The rebound came down to the Knights. And the rebound now comes to number two, Amir Jones, who brings it into the front court between the circles. Working against Janicek, gives it in the right corner to Morgan. Morgan to Brown. Brown inside to Dose. Back out to Brown. Three ball in the air. Got it. That'll put the Comets out to a two-point lead. It's six to four. And again, we get the three-quarter court. Kind of a passive trap. Three ball in the air by C.J. Caffey. Left it short, and Solon comes away with it. Amir Jones to Noah Morgan. Morgan gets in the lane, dishes to Brown. Brown, the senior, at the three-point, the free-throw line to Cormuth to Dose in the corner. Six foot five inch Xavier Dose throws it up, can't get it to fall. Bird comes away with the board. Nordonia will walk it up. Turnbull working against pressure to Poland. Poland to Bird. Bird left the three short. Rebound to Janicek. And Poland knocks it down from eight feet. And we're tied at six. Jones gives the Cormuth, Cormuth to Dose. Dose will drive the lane and dish. Noah Morgan may have gotten away with the travel to Brown. Cormuth now in the left corner will drive baseline, throw it up, can't get it to fall. And Poland comes away with the board for the Knights. Poland to Caffey who drives the lane. He got fouled onto the way to the rim. We'll see who they get. They get Dose, his first, team's first. Caffey's got two shots. We'll get three subs. Fourteen is Blake Johnson, 21 is Anthony Coniglio. Can't make out the number who's gonna replace the shooter here. That would be number one, Aiden Fernandez, who will replace Caffey. Mir Jones working against pressure on the right wing. Both teams playing man-for-man -man defense. Jones drives, throws it up, can't get it to fall. Dose with a nice board and foot back. Two points for the Comets. That's 15. Janicek into the lane. Fernandez, lefty, launches the 15-footer and buries it. And it's a back-and-forth ball game so far in this one. Amir Jones drove the lane but missed the 8-footer. And Aiden Fernandez controls for the Knights. Being hounded by Noah Morgan. Around a screen, Fernandez picks up his dribble. Now hands to Johnson in the lane, dishes in the right corner. 
Couldn't see the number on that player that drove, but the Comets came back away with it. Cormitz, spin move in the lane, can't get it to fall. And the rebound comes to Trevor Turnbull for the Knights. He'll drive, and we get a car wreck, but a block. It's going to be called on Dose, and Turnbull got the worst of that. That'll be Dose's second foul. We're going to get a couple of Solon subs. Turnbull's going to try to make his way to the line after that accident in the lane. Number three is Cameron Lumpkin, and number 15 is Andrew Engelhart. Engelhart, a six foot five inch senior. Lumpkin, a six one junior. Turnbull knocks the second one down and he'll sit. Johnny Cavelli, number 11, is in the lineup now for Nordonia. They're keeping the troops fresh. Amir Jones in the front court, hands to Cormuth. Cormuth to Lumpkin. Lumpkin will drive the lane, he'll throw up the 10 footer, can't get it to go. Fought around, rebound. That was Coniglio with the board, and Fernandez is into the front court. Coniglio holds it. Fernandez hesitates, 15 footer, no good. Cormuth with the board. It's a 10 8 Nordonia lead. Cormac drives down the middle of the lane, tried to dish it to Engelhart, but couldn't complete the and a rejection there by Amir Jones in the lane. Cam Brown will go to the rack, lay it up off the backboard, no good. And Luke Cormuth finishes on a nice feed there by Andrew Engelhart off the miss by Brown. And it's a 10-10 ball game. Virginia looking to break that pressure. They get it into the front court. Ball winds up in the hands of Janicek, who finds a cutting Fernandez to the basket on the back door cut. And it's a 12-10 Nordonia lead. Jones to Cormuth. Cormuth between the circles, hands it back to Jones. Cam Brown, left wing. He likes that three right there. Left it on the front iron. Johnny Cavelli with the board. Fernandez will drive the lane and dish. And a nice finish there by Anthony Coniglio, and a foul is called. They get Engelhart for the foul. His first team's third. Coniglio will go to the line to try to complete the three-point play. Meanwhile, number 23, Devon Simmons. Six-foot-two-inch junior forward for Solon. Number 23 checks in. Coniglio can't finish the three-point play. The rebound's fought around for. Simmons eventually comes away with it and hands to Amir Jones. Simmons looking to drive the lane. Lays it off to Engelhart to Brown. Back to Jones. Jones drives, dishes to Brown. Lots of standing around here by the uh, home Comets. Engelhart came up to screen. Jones lays up the left hand from the right side and finishes. It's 14-12. Nordonia breaks the press. Fernandez throws up a three at the buzzer. It glances the front iron, and that's the way the first quarter will end. Our score after one quarter of play, the Nordonia Knights 14, the Solon Comets 12. We'll be right back with the second quarter after this timeout. Back here at Solon High School in what we thought would be an evenly matched game. After one quarter of play, we've got a two-point lead by the visitors, the Knights. Both teams coming into this one with identical records, four and five overall and one and three in the National Conference of the Suburban League. Solon misses the layup, and the Knights come away with it and get 
also missed the bunny inside. That's number 14, Blake Johnson. Came up short. Cameron Lumpkin's going to try to drive. He's going to dish to Amir Jones inside to Andrew Engelhart, who pivots and lays it up and in. Over Jordan Bird. And again, kind of token pressure being shown by the Comets. The Knights break it. Coniglio lost the handle, had nowhere to go with it, tried the Euro move in the lane, lost the handle, and turns it over. Trevor Turnbull now checks in for the Knights for 14, Blake Johnson. It's Simmons, Jones, Lumpkin, Englehart, and Brown for the hometown team. Jones with a nice pick and roll. Catching Engelhardt, who can't finish. And Turnbull comes away with it. And gives it to Max Brashwitz, who drove the lane and got fouled. Cam Brown's first and first of the second quarter. As I mentioned, the high school rules have changed to keep team fouls by quarter. Shoot two shots on every fifth team foul. You get four freebies a quarter now. Trevor Tur Turnbull gives it to Johnny Cavelli. Cavelli to Bird at the top of the key. Bird swings it to Max Brachitz who drives the lane, misses the left hand layup. Engelhart with the board for the Comets. Amir Jones into the front court. Hesitation dribble. Throws up the six footer. Can't get it. Engelhart can't secure the rebound. Cavelli can, left hand outlet to Turnbull, lays it off the backboard, missed it. Cam Brown now into the front court. Devon Simmons will launch a 19 footer, he got fouled on the shot. Trevor Turnbull commits the foul. Simmons will go to the line to shoot two shots. We're deadlocked at 14. Zero for Solon is Makai Ali. 15 for Nordonia checking in is Jason Janicek. Devon Simmons with the second of two, looking to break this 14 all tie. Missed them both. Janicek dribbled into the front court. Turnbull tries a long three, and Makai Ali comes away with the board. Ali down the middle of the lane, throws up the right-hander, can't get it, but he gets fouled on the way to the rim, and he'll go to the line for two shots. Let's see who they got here. It's going to be Bird. Makai Ali at the line shooting two shots. That's the second team foul on the Knights in the second quarter. C.J. Caffey checks back in. For the Knights, Max Brachwitz sets, sits down. Ali's second is buried. The Comets are up a point. Turnbull and Fernandez are breaking the press for the Knights. They get it into the front court. It's cross-court cross court pass by Janicek. Fernandez lost the handle. And Makai Ali lays it up. A follow by Brown, and Ali got fouled. I believe by Caffey. Caffey now has committed two personal fouls. It's the third in the second quarter for Solon and Ali will shoot two. Justin Jones, first time checking in for the Knights. Checking back in for Solon. Two backcourt mates, number one, Noah Morgan, and number two, Amir Jones. Get another sub for the Knights, it's number 45, Armand Singh. 
Both teams going deep on the bench tonight. Ali knocks the second one down. Solon has a two-point lead. Jones, Janicek, and Turnbull break the press. Bird tries to hit a cutting Turnbull to the basket. He can't handle the hot pass, and the ball goes back over to the Comets. Johnny Cavelli for Turnbull. And Solon inbounds. Jones cross courts it to Makai Ali around a screen by Simmons. Gives it to Simmons. Simmons fakes the three, drives the lane. Left-hander can't get it to fall. Engelhart can't secure the rebound. And it's going to be a foul called on Devon Simmons. His first, team second of the second quarter. They called him for a push in the back there. Jones and Janicek break the press. Bird gets it into the front court. Singh's going to try to finish, and he's rejected by Engelhart. Luke Cormitt checks back in for Solon. Solon enjoys a 17-14 lead, but Luke Cormitt has yet to score in this one. He's one of their better shooters. Good defensive play there by Makai Ali. As he got the board, the foul is called on Justin Jones. That's the fourth. Solon is going to now be in the bonus on the next team foul by the Knights. And they will shoot two shots with 440 to remain, 440 remaining in the second quarter. Nice runner there by number two, Amir Jones. Good touch in the lane, got it to fall. And Solon's out to their biggest lead of the night. It's 19-14. Jason Janicek, left wing, gives it to Jacob Bird. Jordan Bird, excuse me, Jordan Bird, top of the key. Hands to Justin Jones. Jones gives it inside to Armand Singh, working against Andrew Engelhart. Fakes, throws a shoulder, gets rejected by Engelhart, who kept his feet. And his hand straight up. Ali fakes the three, was going to pull it again. Hung on to it. Jones gives it to Morgan. Morgan tries to drive the lane. Slips a little bit. Dishes it all the way back out to Jones. Cormuth can't bury the three. And Nordonia fumbles the rebound. And the Comets will retain possession. Turnbull, Trevor Turnbull checks back in and number 25, Max Poland, both starters for the Knights check back in. We're at 346 of the second. Cormitt throws up a 10-footer and buries it. Seven point Comet lead. The three-quarter court press slowing the Knights down a little bit. Cormitt with a silly foul there. Three team fouls now called against the Comets. Cam Brown checks in for Andrew Engelhard, who did a nice job of offensive rebounding and playing defense. He's got some length. Cormuth working against Bird, drives the baseline, cross courts it. Turnbull to Poland. Poland inside gets rejected by Cormuth. Comets looking to run. Jones. Gives it to Brown. And back to Jones. Jones to Morgan. Morgan, hesitation dribble, gets in the lane. Gets called for the travel. Good defense there by the Knights. I believe that was Poland. 6-3 sophomore. Knights break the press. Turnbull gives it to Poland, who'll try to finish, and he gets rejected. I think that's the third time the sophomore has tried to drive the lane, and someone has swatted him. Ali's going to dish to Morgan, who'll try the three, and he'll bury it. 
And the Comets are out to a 10-point lead. And that's enough for Dominique Sanders, head coach for the Knights. He calls a full timeout. Comet showing confidence at the offensive end. And doing a nice job on the defensive side as well. The Knights have missed some layups inside. Certainly would have cut into this 10 point lead. Some easy shots that they should have made. But credit Solon's defense here on their home court. We're over midway through the second quarter and the Comets have held the Knights down to 14 points. Solon averaging 62 points on the offensive end in their four wins to date. They've averaged 78 points. Nordonia is scoring 53 a game and giving up 52. And in their four wins to date, they've only given up 45 points. And so they are, the Comets are looking to break that pace in this one in, in terms of uh, the number of points Nordonia gives up in a, in a ball game. And they're shooting a little higher percentage than the Knights at this point. So now they jump into a more intensive pressure, a man pressure to change up their defense. Aiden Fernandez gets the ball into the front court. Gives it to Jordan Bird. Jordan Bird between the circles. Hands it to Jason Janicek. Janicek left wing. Top of the key now, Fernandez. Back to Janicek. Fakes the three. Working against Makai Ali. Has to dish it back out to Fernandez. Fernandez working against Cormuth. Drives down the middle of the lane. Hesitates. Back into the corner to Janicek. Janicek inside to Bird. And the Comets steal it. Ali ahead to Cormuth. Cormuth finds Brown, he'll launch the three, left it long. Fernandez with the long board goes down the middle of the lane and we get another car wreck and we're gonna get a blocking foul called against Makai Ali. Aiden Fernandez took the brunt of that one. But he will go to the line to shoot two shots. Try to cut into this Solon 10-point lead. And the lefty rims that one out. Blake Johnson checks in for Jordan Bird for the Knights. This backcourt trio of Morgan, Jones, and Makai Ali is a formidable bunch. We get a 30 second timeout called by the Comets, Rob Sturkula. He's enjoying a nine point lead. Solon will inbound at half court. Cam Brown leads scores. They've got balance scoring presently. Cam Brown with six. Noah Morgan with three. Uh, Amir Jones with four. Luke Cor Cormuth with four. And Makai Ali just two points, but balance scoring from the Comets so far in this one. And the Knights, like they're jumping into a 2-3 zone out of the timeout. It looks to be a matchup zone, Cormuth Top of the key, he'll launch the three, leave it short. Rebound, Turnbull to Blake Johnson. Jason Janicek throws it up, can't finish. Gets the rebound, 
But the outlet is stolen by Amir Jones to Makai Ali who can't finish. And Aiden Fernandez has the basketball. We're down to a minute left in the first half. And it's a nine point Comet lead. Trevor Turnbull lost the handle on the way to the rim. Solon comes away with it. Jones, Amir Jones, dishes it out to Ali. Makai Ali hands it to Noah Morgan. Back to Jones. Cormuth open at the three line, passes it up, throws it inside to Ali, who passes up the shot inside. The Comets are running down the clock here, trying to get the last shot. Cam Brown, three ball. Couldn't get it, Turnbull. Into the front court, Fernandez. Clean block by Brown as he went to make the layup. The Knights think that the ball hit the backboard first. Our first half is gonna end with the Sola Comets out to a nine point lead over the Nordonia Knights. It's Solon 24 and Nordonia 15 in a low scoring first half. We'll be back with second half action right after this. Back here at Solon High School at halftime, it's the Solon Comets 24 and the Nordonia Knights 15. Some balanced scoring for the Comets thus far. Cam Brown with six, Amir Jones four. Luke Cormuth with four. Xavier Dose with two. Noah Morgan three. Makai Ali with three. And Amir Jones with four. It's Trevor Turnbull into the front court. Gets a cutting Aiden Fernandez to the basket for Nordonia. And they manage to get two points coming out of the half. It's a seven point Comet lead. Amir Jones to Noah Morgan. Around the back dribble against Turnbull. Throws it up off the glass and lays it in. In traffic. Turnbull into the front court. Working against Morgan. Now Dose throws it up. Long. Cormuth with the board. Jones in the lane, throws up a five-footer, left it off the front rim. Again, Turnbull all the way down the middle of the lane. Left-hand layup. Lays it in. It's a 26-19 Solon lead. Jones hands to Morgan. Morgan looking to drive. Throws up a runner from eight feet. Nothing but net. Turnbull gives to Fernandez. Fernandez has it tapped away by Jones, and Jones and Brown. Brown gets it ahead, lays it up off the glass and in. Amir Jones with the defensive swat, and he's got his hands on the ball on another one. Fernandez. That is Jason Janicek with the three. Turnbull back to Janicek, fakes the three, throws up the 10-footer. Can't get it to fall. Xavier Dose gets undercut. Referee had to call that one on Anthony Coniglio. They got their feet caught up. First team foul of the third quarter. First on Coniglio. And it's a 11 point lead. For Solon, Luke Cormuth to Cam Brown. Three ball in the air. Perfect rotation. Nothing but nylon. Puts Solon out to a 14-point lead. Trevor Turnbull now looking to create for the Knights. Hands to Janicek. Janicek inside to Coniglio, who gets fouled. We'll see who they get. 
It's going to be Dose. Dose is third. And the first of the third quarter for Solon. Anthony Coniglio for the Knights. First free throw by the senior, six foot four inch senior is in and out. It's still a 14 point Solon Comet lead. Second one is onto the front of the rim, rolls in. And the Knights showing some pressure of their own. Trying to change things up here a little bit in the second half. Cormuth and Jones break it, get into the front court. Noah Morgan back to Jones, cross courts it to Cormuth, all the way to Cam Brown. Three ball left it on the front iron. Coneglio with the board. Brown almost with the backcourt steal. Turnbull gets it to Janicek. Janicek to C.J. Caffey drives the lane. Fernandez tries to launch the three, but Luke Cormuth swats it into the second row. Johnny Cavelli checks in for Jason Janicek. For the Knights, Turnbull to inbound, lobs it up top. That's Cavelli. Right wing, Coneglio, out against Dose. Cavelli launches a three, can't get it. Dose with the board. Hands it to Jones. Jones in the front court to Morgan. Morgan will drive baseline against Turnbull. And the ball gets knocked out of bounds. Solon will retain possession, enjoying a 13-point lead. We're down to 451 here in the third. If they could get Luke Cormuth going, I think they could really separate here in the second half. Brown dishes to Cormuth. Cormuth cross courts to Jones. Jones drives baseline, finds Cam Brown, fakes the three, now throws up the 10-footer and has it rejected by Caffey. Turbo gives it to Fernandez. The left-hand layup is in. And the lead is down to 11. Cormuth and Jones will break pressure. Cormuth into the front court, cross court to Jones, to Morgan, launches the three. Front iron, no good. Dose can't get the offensive board. Turnbull boxes out and watches the ball roll out of bounds. And it'll come away to the Knights. Comets changing up their defense, jumping into some man pressure on their guards. Johnny Cavelli hands the Turnbull, 15-footer, no good. Rebound comes away to Cormuth. Lou Cormuth into the front court. Dishes to Noah Morgan. Morgan to Brown. Brown around a screen, 10-footer, can't get it. And the outlet pass by Anthony Coneglio is too long, intended for C.J. Caffey, and the Knights turn it right back over. Blake Johnson and Max Breschwitz check in for the Knights. And again, it's Amir Jones and Luke Cormuth charged with breaking the press. Cormuth hands to Brown, left wing, gets a step, drives into the lane, can't finish, foul. It's going to be Caffey. Third foul on Caffey, second of the third quarter. Cam Brown will try to add to this 11-point lead. The first one rolls in off the front rim. Jordan Bird checking in for C.J. Caffey, who sits with three fouls. It's a 34-22 Solon lead. We're down to 316. In the third, Brown's second is up and in.
Trevor Turnbull now working against Amir Jones in the backcourt. That's Blake Johnson, a backdoor cut to Johnny Cavelli, but Xavier Dose was there to swat it. It's been some real good defense by the Comets. They've had their hands on a lot of basketballs, swatted a number of shots here tonight. And there's a good hustle play by Noah Morgan. And before it could get any worse for the Knights, they call the 30-second timeout. Thirteen point Comet lead. Knights come out with Cavelli, Johnson, Max Braishwitz, Trevor Turnbull, and Jordan Bird. Solon with Cam Brown, Amir Jones, Noah Morgan, Xavier Dose and Luke Cormuth, the starters. Bird hands to Turnbull, Turnbull tries to drive down the lane, dishes to Cavelli, fakes the three, gives it to Blake Johnson, he'll shoot the three and the banks are open late on a Friday night. And it cuts the Solon lead to 10. Luke Cormuth to dose in the center of that trap and Noah Morgan gets called for the traveling fi uh, violation. His feet got a little ahead of him there. Again with some backcourt pressure. Blake Johnson will dribble it into the front court. Johnny Cavelli will get it back from him, working against Cam Brown way out at the half court line. Round a screen, Trevor Turnbull buried the three and the Knights have cut the lead to seven. Jones and Cormuth trying to break this pressure. Cross court it to Noah Morgan. He'll try to drive in the lane. Give it to Brown in the corner. Brown will try to drive baseline and he gets called for the travel. And a couple of turnovers. Keeping the Knights in this one, we get a couple of subs. Makai Ali who gave the, the Comets some energy in the first quarter, checks in off the bench, and Cameron Lumpkin also checks in. Jacob Bird with a strong move to the hole. I'm sorry, Jordan Bird. Jordan Bird with a strong move to the hole there. And the Nordonia Knights have cut this lead to five. Cameron Lumpkin misses the eight-footer in the lane, and the Knights can cut it to two here. Good defense there by Ali on the bounce pass underneath. And the ball is now retained by the Knights. We're down to 112 in the third quarter, a third quarter which has seen the Knights rejuvenate themselves. Andrew Engelhart checks in for Cam Brown. Blake Johnson has to hustle the midcourt line to get that ball back, working against Cormuth. To Turnbull, left wing. Cavelli cuts the basket, and Engelhart was trailing and fouled him. That's going to be a shooting foul. Cavelli knocks down the first free throw. Second one's in and out. Englehart with the board. Across to Jones. Jones went to dribble around Brashwitz, and Brashwitz stuck his knee out and gets called for the foul. 
his first team's third of the third quarter. Lumpkin will inbound right in front of the Solon bench. Amir Jones gets it. Looking to create. Around the back dribble. Good defense by Breshwitz. Comet's playing for one shot here with a four point lead. Makai Ali now has it between the circles. Bounce pass to Lumpkin. Lumpkin back to Jones. Under 30, Jones inside. Lumpkin won't shoot the 10 footer to Cormuth and back out to Jones. We're down to 20 seconds. Lumpkin will shoot the 16 footer, missed it. Englehart can't get the board. Rebound comes away. Turnbull's got a free path to the basket, lays it up. He got fouled. On the way to the rim, he's going to shoot two, and they're going to get Cameron Lumpkin for the foul. Trevor Turnbull. We'll go to the line, and this has been a good quarter for the Knights. And some sloppy play for Solon. A couple of traveling violations. Lumpkin now checks out, and Cam Brown checks back in. Turbo missed the second. Mir Jones with the board, gets in the front court and gets fouled. Braceschwitz commits the foul as Jones was trying to break that double team. That's the fourth Nordonia foul of the quarter. Second on Braceschwitz. They got to get one a shot up here pretty soon. Jones will get the 15-footer up, in and out, and that's the way the quarter will end. It's Solon 35 and Nordonia 32. The Knights have made this a ball game. We're right back with the fourth quarter after this timeout. Back here at Solon High School for the final quarter, which should be a good one. The Knights come out with Jordan Bird, number 35. One is Aiden Fernandez. Three is Trevor Turnbull. 15 is Jason Janicek. And 14 is Blake Johnson. For Solon, it's Xavier Dose, Cam Brown, Amir Jones, Makai Ali, and Luke Cormuth. And Nordonia jumps into a 2-3 matchup. Trying to mix up their defense, give the Comets a little different look. Brown on the left wing. Jones. To Brown. Brown to Cormuth at the elbow, buries it. He now has six points. I think he could stand to be the difference in this one if he gets hot here in the final quarter. Turnbull. Drove the lane, gave to Johnson. Fernandez at the free throw line. Backdoor cut. Janicek, reverse layup, lays it in. Back to a three-point lead for Solon. Back to a press by the Knights. Makai Ali and Amir Jones break it. They've got Cormuth in the center of that press. And now they jump into man in the half court. Jones, Brown, three-point. Long, rebound, Janicek, left wing, Bird, to Turnbull. This is a one possession game. Turnbull gets called for five seconds. He was closely guarded. And the turnover goes to Solon. You're closely guarded for five seconds if you don't separate out three feet. And that's a turnover. Amir Jones in the center to Luke Cormuth, who'll drive the lane and dish to Xavier Dose. He'll try the three. Front iron, no good. Cormuth with the putback. Can't finish. Fought back. Cormuth trying to get his hands on it. Dose hustles 
And it's going to be called a foul on Dose. Loose ball foul. That's going to be his fourth. First foul of the fourth quarter. He's got to come out. He's got to sit for Simmons. Couple of chances at putbacks there for Solon. They could not finish. And it's still a one possession game. We're down to the six minute mark of the fourth. Fernandez Turnbull, long three, buried it. it we're all tied up. Jones and Ali breaking the press. Jones gets it over. Ali gets the return. Brown with the three. It's short. Cormuth with the putback lays it in. Trevor Turnbull has played steady in this one. Makai Ali doing a good job of defense. Forces the Knights to call. A timeout of the 32nd variety as Turnbull was having trouble at midcourt. And this game has gotten a whole lot more interesting here in the second half. Give the Knights credit for how they've come out here in the second half. Solon has had a bit of sloppy play, some turnovers that Traveling violations that did not help. They had a chance to separate. Up by as many as 13. Knights have Janicek, Fernandez, Turnbull, Johnson, and Coniglio. For Solon, it's Brown, Simmons, Cormuth, Ali, and Amir Jones. Fernandez gives the Turnbull. He'll launch another three. In and out. Rebound Simmons. Gives it to Cormuth. Cormuth to Jones. Jones will drive the lane. He'll lose the handle. He'll get tied up by Turnbull. And it's going to go over to the Knights on alternating possession. Turnbull left-handed. Gotta know that. Devon Simmons commits the foul. Second team foul for Solon in the fourth period. Coniglio. Pressured by Simmons, and the ball is tapped out by Amir Jones. We're under five minutes. It's a two point Comet lead. Caffey checks in for Blake Johnson. Here's a steal by Brown off the inbound. Gets trapped in the corner, manages to throw it out. But before he could, Coach Sturkula manages to get a timeout. Good timeout there as Brown was trapped in the corner. So he quickly called the 30-second timeout right in front of the Solon bench in a two-point ball game. That's a big deal in the fourth. Comets come out with Makai Ali, Devon Simmons, Cam Brown, Luke Cormuth, and Amir Jones. For the Knights, it's Trevor Turnbull, Aiden Fernandez, C.J. Caffey, Anthony Coneglio, and Jason Janicek. They jump into his zone. Cam Brown won't pull the three. Ali, now Brown will, and he'll bury it. Big three ball there, puts the Comets out to a five-point lead. Ali 
Gets green, Turnbull drove the lane, Cormuth rejected him, gets the ball back from Simmons, rushes it into the front court, hands it to Ali. Ali into the lane, bounce passes it to Jones. Jones will try to make a move down the lane, gets shut off. Cormuth looking to create, and a foul is called. That's going to be on Caffey. I stand corrected. They called the foul on Coniglio. Jones, Cormuth. Cormuth against the smaller Fernandez. Off the backboard, can't get it, gets a rebound. Also can't put it in, wanted a foul call. Turnbull in the corner, Janicek, three ball, nailed it. And back to a one possession game, it's 42 to 40. This is quite the low scoring ball game. Jones cross courts it to Ali. He cross courts it back and back to Ali. Corner to Brown, inside to Cormuth, he got fouled. Surprised they didn't call that a little earlier. Jordan Bird with the reach. Cormuth operates pretty well in the center of that trap. Get him the ball in there and he can create. Jones. Excuse me, Ali gets the rebound or the uh, inbound from Jones, who has it at the top of the key left wing. We're going to get an illegal screen. Devon Simmons. Third team foul on Devon. Third, excuse me, third personal, third team. Cam Brown working against Janicek. Janicek, hesitation dribble, gets down the lane. Brings it all the way back out. Now cross courts it to Caffey. Caffey against Cormuth. Hands it to Turnbull. Turnbull, the lefty. Top of the key, shoots it and buries it. And the Knights have taken a one point lead with three minutes to go in this one. Amir Jones cross courts to Ali. Ali back to Jones. Jones looking to create. In the lane, off glass, can't finish. Brown can't rebound. Turnbull with the board. Brown gets called for the reach. second team, or excuse me, personal foul. Team's fourth now. The next foul against Solon. Nordonia is going to the line to shoot two shots. Only two team fouls so far have been called on the Knights here in the fourth quarter. And that's going to play uh, be a big deal. We've got a 42 all game. And another silly foul there committed by Simmons. His fourth. That's going to send Bird to the line for two shots. Bird knocks down the first. Xavier Dose checks in for Simmons. It's a one point Nordonia lead. They missed the second. Jones gets it. Into the front court. Double teamed. Throws it dangerously cross court and they lost it. Janicek goes the hole, lays it up. He got fouled and he laid it in and went down hard to the bat on the floor. He's getting up, which is good news. I don't think he quite hit his head. Thank goodness. He definitely hit his back. He went hard to the hole, was able to finish. It was a hard foul. 
dangerously close to him landing on his head there, but good to see him up. He's got a chance to finish a three-point play here and put the Knights out to a four-point lead. He buried it. And they'll stay in that press and slow down the Comets. Ali and Jones get it across court. Cormuth is going to try to make something happen. Dose cut back door, and Cormuth tried to feed it to him and turned it over. Bird to Turnbull. Turnbull into the front court. Fernandez, that's Janicek, can't finish. Loose ball, Turnbull gets it back. Wisely holds on to it under two minutes and a four-point Nordonia lead and a timeout is called a full timeout for Nordonia. They have played quite the second half here and they've taken it to the Comets who blew a 13-point first half lead. Can't sugarcoat it. And some sloppy play. Some turnovers that have hurt. But give the Knights credit. mentioned at the outset that in the four wins that Nordonia has had this year, they've only let up 45 points in their four wins on average. And we're right there now. The pace that was the first half has not been the pace of the second half for the Comets. That's for sure. Solon was averaging in their four wins 78 points. Well, they're not going to get anywhere near that tonight. They've not shot it well enough. They've turned it over too much. Well, the upper hand goes to the Knights right here with under two. Aiden Fernandez working against Amir Jones. Cross courts it to Turnbull. That's the guy that they want the ball in the hands of. He gets fouled. Noah Morgan commits the foul. Turnbull's going to go to the line. We're down to 137. Remaining. Five point Nordonia lead. Six. Two possession game. And they're wise to stay in this three quarter court sort of token pressure. They get it inside to Cormuth, to Brown, back to Cormuth, lays it up, can't finish. Ball's out of bounds. It's going to be Solon's ball. Dose went for the rebound, couldn't get it. <laughs> Good pass to Luke Cormuth, who just couldn't finish there inside. Jones. Finds Morgan, Morgan gets pushed by Turnbull. That's only the third foul against the Knights in the fourth quarter. The clock is running. So Cam Brown will inbound in front of the Solon bench, down six. 124 remaining in the fourth. Inbound comes to Amir Jones. He's trying to create. He dishes to Cormuth, who cuts back door. Out to Morgan. Morgan to Brown to Dose. Can't get a shot off. Good defense by the Knights. That's going to go over to, to the Knights as Dose knocked the ball out of the board. Uh, out of bounds after the Noah Morgan missed layup and the Comets are forced to pressure. We're down to 107 and it's still a six point Nordonia lead. 
Turnbull and Janicek breaking the pressure. Janicek bounce cross court. Turnbull drives the lane. Dose rejected it. Out of bounds. Oh, they got Dose for the foul. And Xavier Dose just fouled out of this one. Andrew Engelhart will check in. <laughs> Trevor Turnbull has a chance to make this into a three possession game with this free throw with 51 seconds remaining. He makes the second, seven point lead. And that pressure has worked enough to slow the Comets down. Cormac tries to drive, Turnbull taps the ball away. Brown long three ball in the air, can't get it. Engelhart with the putback, gets fouled. He's gonna have two shots going to the line. We're down to 37 seconds. Jay Jordan Bird gets called there for the foul on the putback. Engelhart will have a chance to cut into this Nordonia lead with the clock stopped. Back of the iron. Falls through. Chance to cut it to five. Missed it. Bird with the board. Fernandez fouled by Jones. Fernandez goes the line to shoot two. First one is in and out. He makes this and turns it back into a three possession game. Missed it. Engelhart, outlet, Jones, hesitation dribble, gets into the lane, lays it up and in. It's a four point lead. Solon takes a timeout. So 28 seconds remaining, a four point Nordonia Knight lead. The Comets are going to have to press in the backcourt. Last time they did so, the Knights jumped into a four across press break. And they actually ran a couple guys deep. So if Solon doesn't have a defender deep, if they choose to pressure the inbounder, that deep pass might be open. It's a dangerous play, however, it may be the one they need. Let's see if they've got somebody that can complete that pass. If they do get it in successfully in the backcourt, I suspect Solon's going to foul immediately. Turnbull, Bird, Fernandez, Caffey, Janicek for the Comets, Lumpkin, Ali, Jones, Brown, and they do put Ali back and Cormuth. And a good job, Solon does a good job there, but there's a foul on Turnbull by Lumpkin. Turnbull just split a pair. Still a two possession game, we're down to 25.6. Turnbull missed it. Jason Boston. 
Checks in for Solon. Turnball makes the second. Five point Nardonia lead. Jones, hesitation dribble. Breaks the double team. Ali to Boston. Boston almost threw it away. Gets it back to Ali. Too much time. Brown launches a three off of, I guess, the stanchion. It's a belt that uh, is above the rim, and it's considered out of bounds. And Nordonia will come away with this victory. 50 to 45. A good effort by the Nordonia Knights to win this one. 50 to 45 here at Solon. They'll run their record now to 500 at five and five. Two and three in the National Conference of the Suburban League. Solon falls to four and six and one and four in the National Conference of the Suburban League. Been a pleasure to bring you this broadcast tonight on SETV, Solon Education Television, under the direction of Joe Ferenzi. Tonight's man at the helm was Jason Jogan. My name is Chuck Chokina. Thank you for watching. See you next time on SETV.